Hey everyone, so welcome to my channel. I have branched off of my old channel, but I'm still going to make like fashion and um, like vlog type videos, but this channel is going to be all about books, hence um, the reading part. So anyways, so I'm here with the best of 2013. So these are not books that were necessarily published in 2013 but they were just books that I read and they were my favorite so so I'll just go on the pile here and this first book is from um, it's from a series that I have really really liked like I mean I wouldn't exactly call it my favorite anymore because I've read so many books like, it has been a favorite series of mine for the longest time like I think I started reading in elementary school it's really meant for like elementary to like middle school, but I, <laughs> what can I say, I just, I love this series, and it is The Last Hope by Aaron Hunter, it is the very last in the Warriors series, and I don't know, I just, I loved this book, like, so much, and it was just a great conclusion to the series, although it made me really sad because it was the last book and I loved the series, but it was really, really good. And the next book is one that I read this past December, and it was so great that it just already jumped to like one of my favorites. So it is Beautiful Creatures by Kami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Like, everyone's probably tired of hearing about this book or series or whatever. But yeah, I really liked it. The only thing was that sometimes I would get confused whether it was Ethan or Lena talking, but, um, but yeah, it just had a really great storyline and great, like, romance thrown in and, like, magic and, I don't know, it was just really great and, yeah. And there's purple. 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 Anyways. <laughs> yeah, and then I did end up rereading some stuff and I reread the entire Harry Potter series over the summer and I mean I it's one of my favorite series but out of this series I would have to say that this one and but the next one are probably my favorites just really love the Sorcerer's Stone it it's just like introducing us to Harry Potter and showing us like getting us into the magical world and stuff and it's the book where Harry discovers who he really is and like you know he goes to Hogwarts for the first time and meets his friends his lifelong best friends and it's just awesome so if you haven't read Harry Potter like get on the bandwagon I don't know just do it <laughs> so yeah and then, and then the other book from the series that I really really like is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows, and it is the seventh one, the last one in the series, and it just really concluded the series nicely, and it was like, you know, finally doing what he's supposed to do, and, I don't know, like, stuff that happened at the end, I mean, it was a great, great ending, but it made me sad. We shall go on to my other favorite series. It was really hard to pick out of all of these, but um, I chose. I really didn't want to pick like multiples out of a series, although I ended up doing that. But I just I like really it's the entire Harry Potter series and the entire Vampire Academy series. But I picked Shadow Kiss. So yeah, so I love this book. And even within just reading the first, like, two or three, it was my favorite series. Like, it was that good. The writing was so good, like, the magic, the, like, just Rose and Dimitri. Just, like, yes, like, ship that all the way. Like, it was so amazing. And just the ending of this book, oh, it just, like, it was just, like, <laughs> it was just, like, no. Like, if, you, if you've read the book, like, you know what I'm talking about. And... It was just wow like no don't do that but um but yeah 
And then the other favorite was the very last in the series, Last Sacrifice. And uh, I've said this so many times, but like, it was just such a great conclusion to the series. And although there is a spin-off series, which I haven't gone to yet because, yeah, I own the first book, but I know like once I read that, then I'll just get trapped and yeah. I just, I love this and Rose Dimitri, just like, yes, and yeah, so I just, I think I read this in like a day or two, like probably like two days, but yeah, it was just like zip and it was so good. So then on to another reread, but still very awesome, is The Host by Stephanie Meyer. And I love the book, I love the movie, like even though the book was already my favorite, like one of my favorites, before I saw the movie, um, like I just I love it. Like it is like about 620 pages I think, something like that, but it is so good, so amazing, like yeah, I, I zipped through this in a couple of days, like I just I love this and even rereading it like it's still amazing like the world in it is just so great like the world that Stephanie Meyer creates it just like sucks you in and it like it like really makes you think too it's not just one of those like read and get through it's like wow it's just like you know so that was one of my like very top top books of 2013 so now I move on to the books that I um, had to get out of the library that I don't actually own. So another one of my favorites was the Skin Jacker Trilogy by Neil Shusterman. So I really, really, like, I really like Neil Shusterman now. After reading one of the other books that's on this list, it got me, like, into his books. And I really liked the Skin Jacker Trilogy by Neil Shusterman. It was just a really neat concept, and I haven't really seen or heard of any books that are, like, about, like, limbo, basically. It's about Nick and Allie, I believe, Nick and Allie, and they get into a car accident and they die. Or they're stuck in limbo. Dee and I are, like, zipped through the series, or I zip through the trilogy. And then the other book is one that I haven't heard any other booktubers mention or talk about. It is Slated by Terry Terry. It is, um, it's going to be a series or a trilogy and the next one is out is Fractured and I can't wait to get it but, um, it's about, like, teenagers, like, when you're teenagers, um, your parents can choose to have you slated and basically, like, wipe all your memories and you go and you live with another family, like, they adopt you and start raising you as your own, as their own, but you don't remember anything, so you get to start off your life basically brand new, and it's about this girl, like, I just completely forget what her name is, but, like, it doesn't completely work exactly, like, it works, like, she doesn't really remember anything, but then there's certain things about her that make it weird. I know, like, I'm terrible, so terrible explaining it but I really really enjoyed this I think I finished it in like a day like it was just amazing so I'm just looking up the synopsis or the description on Goodreads and says Kyla's memory has been erased her personality white blank her memories lost forever she's been slated the government claims she was a terrorist and that they are giving her a second chance as long as she plays by their rules but echoes of the past whisper in Kyla's mind Someone is lying to her, and nothing is as it seems. Who can she trust in her search for the truth? So come on, that sounds pretty awesome, right? So then, the next book is Beta by Rachel Kahn. I can't wait for the next book to come out. Like, I am, like, on the edge of my seat, and I'm just like, yes, must get it. Yeah, so I can look up the description on Goodreads. It says... Elysia is created in a laboratory, born as a 16-year-old girl, an empty vessel with no life experience to draw from. She is a beta, an experimental model of a teenage clone. She was replicated from another teenage girl who had to die 
in order for Alicia to exist. Alicia's purpose is to serve the inhabitants of De Demesne, an island paradise for the wealthiest people on Earth. And it just like escalates and like so quickly and it's just really great. So you should give it a shot. I actually read a classic. <laughs> like I had to read it for my AP composition class and usually when they like make you read a book it's just it's so hard to get through it because you know like you have to but I ended up really really enjoying this like I was glued to this book like seriously like you know there's probably like words on my face from like peeling the page off but um yeah it was just amazing and it is 1984 by George Orwell it's set in the future and it's basically where the government like spies on everybody like knows like all of your business like it knows everything about you and like if they think that you're planning on going against them they 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 do something <laughs> it was another one of those like thinking books it wasn't just one of those books where you just like read and it's just like okay whatever it was actually like really good and has some really good points and i really enjoyed it and then the very last book like my absolute favorite was unwind by neil schusterman i went to starbucks after school and i sat there for like three hours and i finished the book like when i read this book i was in a really big reading slump and i read this book and it got me into reading like I loved it and it was amazing. And the second and third book in what was supposed to be a trilogy has come out and I can't wait to get them. I need to get them. I need to read them. I'm so excited. And the fourth one I think is coming out maybe next summer. I just love this book. Love it. Like, oh, so good. It was just a really, really great concept and it just sucked me back into reading and got out of that really horrible reading slump like those slums are horrible and it just got me into reading and I just love that book so much so those were my best 13 of 2013 so I look forward to 2014 and reading even more awesome books so thank you guys for watching this and I will see you again really soon so yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you again next time. Bye!